Hey guys, Kita from Kita at YouTube, how are you? So in this um, video, what I want to talk about is how are we going to get through Thanksgiving uh, with all the political craziness that's going on in the world. And here is my, um, here's my little idea for us when we're getting together. First of all, I want to just call it the Velcro concept. So just remember this, the Velcro concept. And that is, um, if you kind of think about, uh, you and your family, or if you know there's someone specific that's going to be coming, that's, that's going to be coming from a uh, certain position that doesn't necessarily agree with yours. If you engage just as strongly with them, in fact, if you like interlock in with their argument as strongly as they come in and interlock with the argument, just know you're, you're going to have total chaos. You're just, you're going to have <clears throat> total, total chaos and it's going to be not a cool Thanksgiving. It's not going to be a good one. So here's the thing, first of all, you just have to kind of um, try to come from the perspective as we all, first of all, we all are coming from our own lens. We're all coming from what, what we value and everything that we value is always uh, coming from the ego. Like it's very, um, when I say egoic, it's very like what I believe and why I voted uh, for Trump probably has a lot to do with I was raised as a Republican, um, I uh, interlock being a Republican with my grandfather, I interlock that with being raised by my grandfather, I interlock that with he was just like such an inspiring man to me, I interlock, in other words, I can go on and on, go on and on and on, but a lot of that is just conditional on what my story is and kind of how I was raised. Now someone else may have that exact interlocking in that exact kind of lens from what they come from, from from maybe a very democratic position or they could have come from a Republican position that was so strong that that's why now they're a Democrat or vice versa. But anyway, we're all coming from what I believe are different lenses that really attribute to what our belief systems are. So here's the thing, instead of like going tit for tat and saying, talking about how great this person, this candidacy or this presidency or how horrible it's gonna be. Just realize uh, most people are, are coming from their story. They're coming from their lens. And if someone is in a space that's upset, they're, I don't wanna say they're coming from fear, but they're kind of, and me, all of us, right? We are projecting into the future, again, from our lens of perception, what we think is about to happen um, in a good way or a bad way or whatever way we believe. And here's the thing, what, what I just want us all to kind of realize, especially around Thanksgiving and Christmas and the holidays and things like that, is just instead of talking about um, maybe politics, maybe, Maybe ask them, you know, tell me about your childhood dad or mom or brother or sister or friend. You know, tell me, tell me what are some of your things when you were a child that you really believed in strongly or, you know, tell me, tell me a little bit about what your greatest fears are um, in life when it comes to blah, 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 blah. Or, you know, tell me what are some of your great loves and, you know, uh, what are some of your great passions? What are your, some of your great inspirations? What are some of your great dreams? And um, <laughs> sometimes you'll find that people are like, huh? Like they don't even know how to answer that. I and mean, it's because we kind of live in a society that's not um, really, you know, we don't really go, hey, so tell me about your dreams. We'd rather, you know, bash or talk badly and kind of engage in, in that little conversation. So just kind of think about like, the biggest thing that I would think about is what are your takeaways? Uh, what are your big takeaways for the holidays? Like what, if you were to kind of stand back, what are things that you really want um, to have accomplished? So for example, if you have an older parent that may believe totally different than what you believe in, what you might want to think about is it worth your last Thanksgiving, like getting in a huge fight and having the family divided? I mean, and remember, it takes two to tango. It takes two people to have that interlocking conversation. So, um, 
definitely, uh, definitely just ask yourself, you know, what are you committed to? Think about before you walk into that room or before you have that event. Just, you know, have an intentionality of how you want the event, you know, how you want to react to your experience, okay? Because we can all have different experiences, but I think it's kind of like how we, how we choose to uh, look at the experience is really gonna determine um, the success of our family gathering. So I don't know, just a couple of things to kind of munch on. Just remember, um, if you, if someone is coming, oh, they're so difficult, oh, they're so this, you're already kind of painting a picture subconsciously and consciously and energetically out into that room of how that day is going to go. You know, maybe um, get a football, go play football in the street, or get your family and go for a walk, or maybe get a puzzle out, and as a family, you're going to put the puzzle together, or play a board game, or, you know, get a guitar out and sing some songs. I mean, just kind of get into the creative flow somehow with your family and with your gathering, and again, choose and have an intention that it's going to be filled with love and family connection, and just, you know, ask yourself, if this were the last uh, dinner or last gathering that I would have with my family. How do I want it to end? Like, how do I want the memories? How do I want to recall uh, this day? Because you don't want to be, you don't want to be sitting back, like you know, in three or four months, realizing that maybe they die, you know, maybe they get in a car accident or cancer, whatever it is, and you're at their funeral and you're like, gosh, the last time I saw pops or mom or whatever was when we were arguing over that. Trump Clinton debate. I mean, let's just, that's just, it's just, it's so ridiculous. You know what I mean? Let's get underneath that. Let's get underneath that story and let's just, you know, let's, let's connect. Let's come together and let's uh, lift each other up. All right? So that's my little Thanksgiving peace talks. Anyway, you guys, stand in your light, stand in your truth, and above all else, you know it, you go and be a warrior in life. I love you guys. Bye. Mwah.